So this is about energy, grid scale energy. In our power grids, we use conventional power plants to provide power and to stabilize the grids. So within the next 10 years, we're going to shut down most of these. Coal-fired plants, nuclear plants, nuclear in Germany. So the thing with, uh, with renewables is that they do not stabilize the grid. The wind only is there when it is there, not when you need energy. Same with the sun and solar. So renewables destabilize power grids. So today, we have three different measures, the conventional plants to keep the grid stable. We have demand side management and we have batteries. So with demand side management, the potential is pretty limited and batteries are really expensive. So we came up with a new technology, which is based on the oldest energy storage principle mankind knows, the Potter wheel, storing energy in a rotating body, using the movement of the body to keep the energy. If you want to load to charge it, you accelerate it. If you want to use the energy, you decelerate it. So this is how our Potter wheel of the 21st century looks like. It's a so-called flywheel. And in this containment, there's a rotor made out of carbon fiber, levitated in magnetic bearings, running in a high vacuum atmosphere to reduce friction and all losses, to make it as efficient as possible. So how does the competition with the battery look like? Well, we're less expensive. We are sustainable, and we have an unlimited cycle life. Otherwise, send the battery in your mobile phone, you can charge our system millions of times. Our market is global. We start with interconnected grids from Germany and Europe, going to the US in 2020, and Asia Oceania around 2023. We think that there's a market for 40,000 flywheels globally, each one worth that nice Tesla car over there. So our business model, we have partners which manufacture the components we need for the flywheels based on our specification. We assemble the flywheels, put our software on and bring them to our customers. Our team, we are 12 people now, four founders, an experienced advisory board with all the knowledge we don't have since we are a startup. To prove that it works, we've currently built a big grid scale pilot with a total power of one megawatt in England and Ireland. And this is how we'll develop. Next year, end of next year, we'll have our first paying customer, bring it to serious production of the system, reach break even in 2021, and then scale up globally. So if you're interested in energy, in science, rocket science without rockets, in business to business, in global markets, and a proven and great working team, talk to me. And thank you. Thank you, Hendrik. And time to move to questions. So can you just tell me a bit more about where you place yourself in the network and who the customers are here? Yeah. So uh, our traditional customers would be utilities. Not so traditional customers would be everybody who's running assets in the grid, power generation assets. and. Customers we expect to see next year or in the years after are companies focusing on energy storage installations. We see that in Ireland. We already got questions from Ireland about very big installations there, which offer the investment into the storage technology as a financial uh, product to life insurance companies. So we got pretty bright, pretty wide bandwidth of customers. Yeah. There's a screaming demand for what you offer. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't there's, there's a huge demand for what you're offering. Yes. I mean, it's a big problem. It's a holy grail. What, what does this cost for someone to, to buy? And um, is anyone else doing something like this? Well, there's other companies doing like that. Um, there's companies in the US. There's companies in Germany. Um, what we offer is a different technology. Or when you really dive into the system, it's differently. Um, we can manufacture our systems at lower costs, and our systems are modular. So we can put together the system on the demands of, of fitting the demands of the customer, uh, like making it really fit the application, reducing his costs in investment as well as running costs. How much? How much? Uh, so um, currently we built a container with one megawatt of power, four flywheels in it. It'll be 800,000 euro. So. If you become wildly successful, um, who is going to suffer? Who suffers most if you 
take the big ah, chunk okay. of the market. Uh, Coal-fired power plants. But they're shutting down anyway, aren't they? According yeah. to your hypothesis So it's there. not... Well, so the, this is a new field, so let's turn it around. Nobody suffers, but we can keep the lights on. Someone's so going to lose money when you make money, most likely. It's not, not necessarily. new money generated. Yeah. No. We, re we replace the, the conventional power plants, and th these people lose money, and we provide the technology that we can turn them really off. And, and given that there are other players out there doing similar stuff like this, to what extent, where are you in the patenting process and, and uh, how do you think about that? Yeah, uh, so we got a couple of patents. Uh, we have a patent strategy uh, going forward for the next three years with about four patents each year on special aspects. But most of the knowledge is in the system itself. We're not going to patent this because if we patent it, everybody else will know how we did it. So now you can rip the system apart, you won't see what's the the real IP in it. And how, how much money are you raising? Did you uh, so currently we raised two million. And how much are you raising now? Yeah. You're raising two million? Yeah. yeah. And, and have you explored kind of grants and other financing options Absolutely. to help? Absolutely. Uh, up to now about one million euro in grants went into our company. So we really took up speed and now we need more money to keep the speed and even get faster. I wasn't sure if you said it's customized or you're just going to have one kind of unit that it's, everyone... It's kind of customized, yeah. Does, doesn't that hurt the economics? Uh, not really. So this is a modular system, a platform. So when we customize the system, we use like 95% of common parts and the rest is adapted, but also based on a, um, on a uh, yeah, platform thing, like Lego, putting things together. Yeah. And thank you, Hendrik. Um, Thanks. We have to move on. That was adaptive balancing.